Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and today we're learning about how to determine if a number is prime. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help to use Minute Math. We need to identify each number as prime or composite. Our two numbers are 83 and 77. Let's start with an 83 here. To check if a number is prime, we need to see if each prime leading up to it is, goes into it, 83 being divisible by each one of those prime numbers. And that's kind of how they check a lot of these prime numbers out there in life. So we got a prime number here, and the first one hopefully you know is a 2. Does 2 go into 83? Well, 83, does it end in a 0, 2, 4, 6, or 8? The answer is no, it doesn't. So in that case, 83 is not divisible by 2. Next prime number is a 3. Does 3 go into 83? Well, remember our rule? Add 83. 8 plus 3, adding 83, we get 11. Does 3 go into 11? No, it doesn't. And so, well, we're done with 3 now. Our next prime number is 5. Does 5 go into 83? Well, does it end in a 0 or a 5? It doesn't, it ends in a 3. So no, pretty easy. Next prime number here is a 7. Now there's no real tricks for the 7, so we have to really just test it 83 divided by 7, and that comes out to be a 11.857. Kind of keep going there. Doesn't go in evenly, we're good. Next prime number is 11. Does 11 go into 83? So 83 divided by 11, and that comes out to be a 7.54. Five. And we're actually done checking prime numbers. Sometimes students keep going, we'll start checking 13. But what we noticed here is we have now gotten past, when we divide by 11, this number is now smaller than the prime number, the highest prime number that we've checked. And so at this point, we're done. We can confirm that 83 is prime. We're good. What about 77? Same thing. So our prime numbers here, if I can write it, prime, is a 2. Does 77, is it divisible by 2? Well, the last number, 7. Is it a 0, 2, 4, 6, or 8? No, we got that one down. What about 3? Check 7 plus 7 is a 14. Does 3 go in the 14? No. Got that. Next prime number is a 5. Does the last number here, 7, end in a 0 or a 5? <laughs> no, it ends in a 7. So, we're good there. Lastly, we have 7 as a prime number. Does 77, can you divide 7 into it? You can. You got 11. So yes, the prime number 7 goes into 77, and so 77 is what we call a composite number. It is not a prime number. Remember, prime numbers are only divisible by itself and one. Well, there we have it. We've learned how to determine if a number is prime. And if you learned something, make sure you subscribe to this YouTube channel and like this video. This helps us make more of these free math lessons for you and for everyone else. So as always, thanks for watching.